Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is um, this series, 1 plus a third plus a ninth plus a twenty-seventh. Uh, I don't know if we've ever looked at this series before. Uh, but before we go through the math, I'd like you to take a guess as to what this side converges to before we go through the calculation. Well, I think it converges maybe to two again because you're going you're going infinitely. Okay. M maybe. What do you think? I would maybe think maybe one and a half. Okay. How come one and a half? Because one plus a half plus a f maybe somewhere between a one and a half and two because this is a little bit. It's a little. You, it's a little bit less than the last sequence. So you're going on forever. Yeah, it's interesting. It, it is a little bit less, and you do go on forever. Um, mm. <laughs> but we do know what one third is as a decimal. What is it? It's point three 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 six. So this is one point oh 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 oh, oh plus point three 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 three. Well, well, What's one ninth as a decimal? One 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 one. Well, so for the first three at least, we get to one point four, 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 four. four. Well, we need to figure out maybe one point seven. Well, we don't want to add this up. Yeah, we don't want to add it up by hand, but it is, in, it, now, that, now that you see where we get after the first three terms, do you have any revisions to your guesses? Mm, yeah, how, a little. Okay, what do you think now? I, well, I think well since you since the, since you're adding less and since it, if you're adding less than this it might might go towards one and a half. Okay. What do you think? Uh, I still think mm, yeah, it should it looks like it's not converging on one and a half. Okay. But Let's do our multiplying trick and see. Yeah, what what would be an interesting thing to multiply by here? Three. Three. Okay, so I get three. Three plus, plus one, one plus, plus a third. A third. Plus a ninth. And this would equal three x. Three x. Okay. And then you Which, subtract. But you get f. you get three x is. You, you're gonna you get two x is three. Okay, I get. 3 equals 2x. So Let me subtract 3x minus x, and let's make sure we understand why we get 3 here. The 3 doesn't subtract with anything. The 1, the 3rd, the 9th. So I get three, 3 is 2x, so x equals 1.5. 3 halves? Or 1.5. Or 1.5. Okay. That's uh, the uh, first guess I made. Yeah, so that's interesting. Let's see if we multiply by something else. <coughs> Let's multiply by one third and just see what happens. Okay? Then we would. So this time, when I multiply x by one third, what do I get? You multiply you get x over 3. I get x over 3. And what do I get when I multiply this series over here by one third? You get one, you shift it over. You get one third. Third plus, plus a one ninth plus a twenty seventh. So. Okay, what subtraction do I want to do now? Well, probably you subtract x over three. You subtract x over three from x. Okay, so this time I sub I take this series and subtract this series down here. What am I left with on this side? One. One, and what am I left with? What is x minus x over three? Uh, well, that would be two. 2x over 3. 2x over 3. So 2x so over 3 equals 1. What does x equal? x is 2. It's a 2. Three. You have to multiply by 3 halves to, well, to clear this side. I have to multiply by 3 to get rid of that 3. Yep. So I would get 2x is 3, and then I have to divide by 2. So x equals 3 halves again. Yeah. That's nice, at least, that we get the same answer. Right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A couple more examples and then we'll do it in general. Yeah. Okay.